and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. So in today's video, I was given a suggestion by one of my subbies, Sasha, who I will enter her comment here, hey boo hey, to do a video on the hyper feminine aesthetic of the 90s, which I thought was a great idea, seeing as though the 90s style has been trending for a while and it's one of those eras that has something for everyone to grab from. But it seems as though the part of the 90s that people gravitate to or that is mostly revamped and reworn and recreated is the baggy oversized clothing and the grunge dark look. But the girly hyper feminine looks like the mini skirts, frilly dresses and tweed sets and pink are often overlooked so let's get into it so i am getting over a cold so if i sound a little bit different in some parts of the video it's because of that like if my voice cracks i am getting over a cold but i had to do this video but yeah so let's get into it while i constantly tell you guys there is no one way to be feminine because there isn't and that femininity looks different on everyone when it comes to fashion there is also hyper femininity the girly girls who love pink glitter sparkles wearing dresses and skirts and always dressing up no matter the occasion like fran fine dion davenport regine hunter hillary banks and Cher herowitz who were unapologetically girly girls who didn't conform or care about the way society viewed women who were into fashion looks and pampering themselves there were also celebs like britney spears Little Kim, Mariah Carey, Naomi Campbell, and Holly Berry. There were designers like Dior, Chanel, Versace, Moschino, Calvin Klein that catered to the needs of women who loved every part of being a woman and dressing up in pearls, bowls, silk, tool skirts, and ruffled socks. And there wasn't just one way of being hyper feminine that would only consist of bright colors and pink. There were also the warm colors like chocolates, deep reds, burgundy, olives, and grays. So let's discuss some of the hyper feminine women of the 90s and we'll start with Miss Dion Davenport and Fran Fine who helped to shape the fashion girlies and hyper feminine women of today. I've also done breakdowns on both women and will be recreating these videos as well so be on the lookout for that. Dion loved vibrant colors, color blocks, patterns, pink, purple and was the epitome of femininity. She dressed for herself and no one else. When you think of 90s hyper feminine characters, she is definitely one of the top five that comes to mind because of how she was so unapologetic when it came to her femininity. In which I also want to shout out Mona May. Mona May helped to reshape the 90s with her feminine style from a grunge to a more vibrant and feminine style and has been crowned the queen of 90s movie fashion and rightfully so because Clueless Alone has been a movie that's been talked about for decades and is a cult classic for the fashion alone. As well as Romy and Michelle's high school reunion, which I will be doing a deep dive on because the fashion in this movie is so underrated and was Mona's signature feminine style. So thank you Mona for your work and for the young girls like me who loved all things feminine, girly, and inspiring us to be our vibrant selves I know Clueless was one of those films at a young age that inspired me so much and made me fall so deep in love with fashion and self-expression even though I was really young and movies and shows like Clueless, Pretty Woman, Jawbreaker, The Nanny, A Different World, and The Fresh Prince helped me discover myself and learn how fashion is a way to connect with others. So thank you Mona and the other costume designers and stylists out there who helped to shape the 90s. Now back to the video. So Dionne Davenport was very feminine and unapologetically feminine as I stated before. Much like Fran Fine who felt her best when she was dolled up and was in her element when it came to being dressed to the nines. Both women although different characteristics knew the strength they held within them being so fashionable as well as their femininity. Fran Fine and Dion were stylish it girls who didn't care about the negative comments they would receive when it came to their fashion. Especially during the 90s when things were shifting at the later end, latter end of the 90s 
and being a girly girl or hyperfeminine was looked down upon and you were considered somehow an airhead or bimbo couldn't be taken seriously simply because you loved being a woman and shopping as if women are incapable of being beautiful fashionable and intelligent at the same time most of the tv characters during that era who were interested in fashion and up to date on all of the latest fashion trends they made their characters airheads who couldn't possibly be smart and had to choose one or the other. Characters like Whitley Gilbert, Hilary Banks, Cher Horowitz, and even Fran Fine were looked down upon for not being book smart or what they would consider to be book smart or looked at only in a sexual manner. Hyperfemininity when it pertains to fashion doesn't mean that you're somehow an airhead who can't think for herself and that you're somehow uncultured and materialistic. People have different interests and when someone loves fine art, traveling and exploring different countries, that's not looked down upon. But for some reason, collecting your favorite handbags, shoes, jewelry, and clothing is looked down upon as if it isn't art as well. People take their time to create these pieces and put their blood, sweat, and tears into some of these pieces. And if every single designer was to stop making clothing, people would be in shambles. So just because you are into those particular things doesn't mean you're worthless or an uneducated airhead. If you're someone who is really girly or you want to get into being more girly, please don't let the negative opinions of others affect you and find your tribe. Make friends and places with people who are like-minded and love what you love when it comes to fashion. Find your community, which is why I created this channel because I am super girly and love all things girly, pink and extra, but I do also love dressing down sometimes as well. And another thing, just because you're into those things doesn't mean you have to exclude others around you. I think sometimes people tend to go the mean girl route when people don't have the same interests as them because they don't understand them or they feel like what the person has interest in is beneath them. And it's a pet peeve of mine because we were all made separately and individually for a reason. Something else I want to add real quick too because a lot of people come on these videos and give their unsolicited opinions about why they don't like hyper femininity in fashion or, or why they don't like pink. Like their opinion will stop something. Respectfully, I could give a rat's ass about what you don't like. This is my channel and a lot of you tend to come over here and slam down on your keyboards and because you live in misery, are disgruntled and can't find anything else better to do with all of your free time other than share your low vibrational, bitter, dustbin, bottom of the shelf arguments. But I guess when no one cares about what you have to say, you have to get on social media platforms so that you get the attention you so desperately seek. I don't get how someone dislikes something but runs to the very thing they don't like. Watch it and give an opinion when you're not changing anything over here. You're not a main character, side character, or even an extra in the back. So just marinate in your misery and find some therapy. So, as I've stated before on my channel, keep it cute or get your feelings hurt. Now back to the video. I absolutely loved this era of fashion because women weren't only hyper feminine, but they were also unique. Like Fran Fine wearing a sequin candy wrapper dress, like who could do that but her? The color block dresses, intricate beading and lace scent, fur trim chiffon dresses. This was just a time for women to celebrate their femininity and just love fashion. It was just such a great, beautiful wonderful time okay <laughs> Cher Horowitz, Fran Fine, Hilary Banks, Whitley Gilbert, Dion Davenport, Regine Hunter, and Lisa Turtle amongst the many others were not only hyper feminine women who were unapologetically feminine but they are the inspiration still today for women who embrace all things girly and could care less about being called materialistic they gave us timeless looks and taught us how it was okay for us to love the things we loved with no shame, even though some people take issue with it. There are some people who don't like to see other people elevate in their lives or become confident within themselves, specifically women, and hate to see women putting themselves first, even with the soft life era that I see trending, 
people will find a way to pick and tear down the women who want better for themselves. And I guess a lot of it is projection and bitterness because they are still stuck in their situation. But the hyperfeminine women of the 90s taught young girls to be confident in who they were while we tossed our hair in the mirrors and fixed our gloss and would step into our mother's heels. As young children, we were discovering who we were and wanted to be. Beyonce is also the perfect example of hyperfemininity in the 2000s. She was so glamorous and of course still is, but I absolutely loved her style in the early 2000s and she always carries herself with such grace, poise, and elegance. Also, femininity doesn't revolve around men and I see that some people make these videos saying, this is how you become feminine to get a man or to catch a man. Femininity is about you embracing your womanhood and the qualities you possess, being kind to people, uplifting your fellow sisters, and having empathy for others. I would also add the Brad Stalls represented hyperfemininity as well. Although they were released in 2001, they were the perfect representation of girly girls in all things fashion, which was their slogan, the girls with the passion for fashion. Dolce & Gabbana, Chanel, and Dior in the 90s focused on the modern feminine women creating timeless couture pieces accentuating the female body. And Dolce & Gabbana has remained true to their brand and one of my favorite designers when it comes to high fashion. They always reinvent themselves but stay true to their brand. I think the 90s, 2000s was the era where we saw the last of true creativity. There were also so many options available during that time regardless of what your style was. Although there are some fashion brands creating new ideas, it's more so about making money than it is about fashion. The quality of clothing has declined and fast fashion has taken over. People overconsume and buy whatever social media pushes. A lot of people aren't shopping in stores anymore. Everyone is shopping online and then you wear it one time or you don't wear it at all and it just sits in your closet. But no one is going to the stores anymore trying on things and that whole process of what it was like back in the day when you would go to the fitting rooms, you would discover what you liked and what you didn't like, looking through the stores and the racks, touching and feeling material. Things have just been on the decline with fashion. If you are a hyperfeminine woman and you love being hyperfeminine, you love really girly things and you love pink high heels, furs, and you just love things that a lot of people around you may not like, don't change for anyone. Remain who you are. Don't let anyone tell you oh, you're so extra, oh, you're doing the most. Like, okay, girl, and you're not doing enough. If people have that kind of negative attitude, you need to get them away from you because it can start to wear and tear at you. So please get away from those type of people and do what's best for you. Don't do what other people are telling you to do and how they feel you should dress because sometimes it's jealousy and they're mad that you're getting the attention that they want. And with that being said, this video has come to an end. I hope you guys all have enjoyed. And let me know below what are some of your favorite trends and favorite styles from the 90s. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. As I tell you guys, often liking helps with the algorithm. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Toodles!